Well, this is winter. It is Canada. It's going to give you a quick update on my Colorado. Um, the cold has done something different to the transmission. It seems to be working perfectly fine. I can't explain it. Um, you know, it was doing some, some weird stuff there, my last video, and, uh, you know, really frustrated with it. And all of a sudden, temperature drops, and it's pretty damn cold today. And uh, we got snow, but the transmission is working, you know, as it should. So I don't know if it's the viscosity of the oil that changes or, uh, you know, something like that's happening with it. But uh, whatever it is, uh, it's, it seems to be fine now. But <clears throat> I'm just going to see and wait what, what happens with it. Um, like I said, no slipping, and no banging, no drama right now. So the truck's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, but it's weird. So um, I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I keep an eye on the temperature of the transmission. It, it, the fluid's like, like, when it's cold like this, the temperature is really, really cold. So um, the, the fluid's like, like around freezing, like zero. Celsius, so it's like around 32 degrees or below, and um, the transmission, you know, it tends to hold the shift for quite a while. Well, this is a warm up, I guess it does a little warm up there, but uh, yeah, so I don't know if you got a truck like this with an 8 speed GM transmission and, and you got some stuff going on with it, and take note if it's if, if it acts differently in the, in the cold weather, uh, please comment below. I'm, I'm interested to find out if, if that's got something to do with it. If the the, uh, the you know the thickness of the fluid, the viscosity of it is, is causing the transmission to behave you know differently when it's cold versus when it's warmed up. Okay, so it's just a short video, quick update. So if you like this video, uh, click like and subscribe. This is two four seven EVL. See ya.